Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pavana Zapaknam. When you're meditating, it's like planting a seed. You have to be very careful that you've got good soil, and that you protect the seed. Too much sun or too little sun, you have to look at the conditions and make sure they're just right. Water it regularly. And then when it starts growing, don't move it around. All too often we meditate, we stay with one spot a little bit, then we move around to something else, then move to something else. It's like taking a little plant and then planting it and then deciding you don't like it where it is, so you move it someplace else, and then you dig it up again, move it someplace else again. The plant is not going to survive. And it's also important that you don't pull on the plant, saying trying to make it bigger, taller. You look after the conditions and the plant will grow on its own. So the conditions here are what? Making sure you have plenty of solitude. And then two, just making up your mind. You're going to stay with the breath. And whether it's working or not, or whether you're getting immediate results or not, that's not the issue. Just stick with the cause. Because if you do the cause a little bit and then you check to see how it's going, and then you come back again and check how it's going. You're jumping around like that. It's like digging the plant up again, around. Just stay with the breath, stay with the breath. You find yourself wandering off, come back, make the breath comfortable. It's like giving water to the plant. And if you find yourself getting discouraged, we've got Dharma books. We've got recordings you can listen to. That creates a good atmosphere, a good environment for the plant as well. What's especially important is what you're looking at and what you're thinking about, what you're listening to. Be very careful about these things. Be very careful about the environment you create for your practice. To use another analogy, it's, it's like being a recovering addict. You've got to be very careful about who you associate with and who you don't. What places you go and what places you don't go to, because you know that you've got some weaknesses. And so you have to protect them. Protect yourself from those weaknesses so that your strong qualities will have a chance to grow. And when then they've grown, okay, then you can go anywhere you want. But in the meantime, you have to be very careful about where your mind is wandering, the things it's thinking about, anything that gets you in a bad mood right now you don't want to think about. Just think about the things that will be helpful, that will be encouraging to your practice. And that way your plan will grow.